and welcome to Propeller Ads. My name is Anastasia, I'm the team leader of the customer success team. And this is a quick tutorial on how to start your first on-click campaign in Propeller Ads. When you log in to your advertiser's account, you can see a Create Campaign button at the top of the window. Click it. Now type the name of your campaign in the campaign name field. Let's type something like my first on-click test campaign. Next, choose the advertising format. We recommend starting with the on-click format as it doesn't require producing additional creatives and it's just simpler to work with for beginners. On-click bookbinders are our most popular format that provides a great reach at the lowest cost. With it, you can get guaranteed visits and generate fast conversions. It can work great on the majority of offers, but proves to be exceptionally effective for iGaming, sports betting, e-commerce, utilities and extensions. How do Bupanders work? When users visit a website, which is a part of our publishing ecosystem, under the active browser window, another one will appear showing them your offer. In other words, the window pops under the active window, therefore the name. On mobile devices, it will open another tab of the browser. Here's how on-click popunders look on your client's devices. Now, let's choose the pricing model. If you don't want to rely on the guesswork for placing the right bid, we recommend going with our smart bidding model CPA Goal 2.0. Using our proprietary machine learning algorithm, it allows you to buy the maximum amount of traffic based on the desired conversion price. Unlike other models, CPA Goal 2.0 is not strictly tied to the bid. Instead, it places dynamic bids to buy only those shares of traffic that perform most effectively for your offer and targeting settings. With this model, the better your campaign converts, the more traffic you will be getting. For more information on CPA Goal 2.0, you can check out the tooltip on the right side of the screen. Conversion tracking is especially important if you choose the CPA Goal 2.0 bidding model since it requires information about the occurred conversions in order to work properly or work at all. So we've come to the most important field, target URL. Here you should pass the link to the landing page of the offer that you want to promote or link from your tracker. We found ours on Zedu CPA network previously, so we copy and paste it. Below this field, you can find a list of tokens that can be added to a target URL. Most and foremost, you should use the click ID parameter to post back your conversions to the platform. Below this field, you can find a list of tokens that can be added to your target URL. Most and foremost, you should use the click ID parameters to post back your conversions to the platform. Adding other parameters will allow you to better analyze your campaign results in your tracking software. You can read more about setting up tracking by following the link below the video. The next step is traffic options. You can choose between propeller ads and brokers traffic and whether to include the anti-ad block traffic to your campaign. Propeller ads is the traffic from the websites in our network. This traffic is great for testing your campaigns and we can guarantee its highest quality. If you are new to running on-click campaigns, leave only this option ticked. Brokers traffic is the selected traffic from our partners. We recommend choosing this traffic option for seasoned affiliates who want to scale their campaigns. Also. You have the option to include the anti-ad block traffic. This is the traffic that comes from devices on which users have enabled the anti-ad block blocking software. This option is also good for scaling. In the countries and conversion price section, you should choose the geo-targeting appropriate for your offer. Choose the countries in which you want your ads to run and specify the CPA goal or your desired conversion price. If you are in the dark on what to put here, we recommend setting it to 80% of your payout. Since your campaign is most likely to show different results on various GEOs, you have the opportunity to set specific CPA goals for each of them. Don't chase the reach by targeting many countries in one campaign. 
The maximum recommended number of countries to target in one campaign is 3-4, but the best practice is to have just one. Here you also have the option to target users by cities or by states. This will allow you to reach people in specific locations. This is especially convenient if you are promoting local offers. For example, if you are advertising a sports event like a football match between teams from two cities, you can specifically target people who live there. In the following fields, you need to set the daily and overall budget for your campaign. The minimum numbers are $10, but please note that budgets below $30 might be exceeded. The next big step is setting up the targeting. Here, you should choose the targeting settings that match the requirements of your offer. The general recommendations is to use broader targeting at the start of your campaign and narrow it down based on the campaign's results. The first and main tip here is not to target desktop and mobile devices at once. You should only target one platform at a time. Next, apart from targeting users of a certain operational system, device model, browser and connection type, you can also choose on which zones you want or don't want your ads to run. This option will be useful once you receive any analytics from the testing period, so let's leave it like that for now. The same applies to the Audiences tab, as you might not have the necessary data just yet. And this is how you can collect it. In Propeller Ads, you have the opportunity to collect custom audiences for retargeting. This is done with the help of the Audiences 2.0 tool, which allows you to unite users in groups based on how they interact with your ads. With this data, you can specifically target people who got interested in your ads or performed a conversion. This is likely to bring you more conversions at a lower price in the future or open new opportunities, for example, for upselling. The first option is to collect an audience of engaged users. These are the people who got interested in your landing page according to the viewability pixel. That means that they spent at least 2 seconds on it. Please note that to use it, you'll have to apply the viewability pixel to your landing page. So it won't work if you're sending people directly to the offer's target page. Another option is to collect users who performed a conversion in this campaign. Such users are great to target if you're planning on upselling or running similar offer in the future. This option requires you to set up S2S post backtracking but we've already done that in this campaign. A quick note. On top of these options, we have a classic retargeting pixel. With it, you can re-engage visitors of your website and landing. Feel free to get this code at the Audience tab. So, to collect an audience, choose an option and type in its name in the Audience Name field. You can create a new audience or add users to an existing one. In Campaign Schedule, you can select the hours when your ads will be active according to the selected time zone. Make sure to check the requirements for your offer. Some advertisers request, for example, their ad is only shown during business hours. The last step is to agree to our terms and conditions and hit the Start Campaign button. After your campaign is approved by our policy team, you will start to receive impressions. It's been 30 minutes, and we can see the first results. We received 8,866 impressions at a cost of $14. Don't worry about the return on investment and profit columns. We have just launched the campaign and we will have to wait a little more than 30 minutes to receive our first conversions and earn money with them. To see more details, we have to go back to the dashboard and find our campaign. We have different filters to search for it, if you can find it. The first group of stats we see is traffic types. As we said before, we have propeller traffic and broker's traffic. The fireball symbol 
means that our campaign is working with those zones. If our CPA goal algorithm detects that the zone is not profitable, it will freeze that zone and the fireball will transform to a snowflake. We have more stats and you can check them after your campaign gets enough statistics. That's it! Thanks for watching this video! To get more educational content, please subscribe to our channels and visit our blog. And if you have any questions, please come to our Propellerite's Telegram chat. In addition, 24-7 technical support is available to you right on the platform. See ya!